Hello there, welcome back to a new video on CCIV, soon to be Lucid Motors. This time we are having a look at some of the latest news on the company. As you will know if you do subscribe to this channel, we do oftentimes like to look at how the company is trading throughout the week, giving a bit more of a technical analysis standpoint, but sometimes it is also good to look at the news and understand why what is happening is happening. That is the intention of this video, it's going to be quite quick and still very easy for you to understand, but again we're going over some of the latest news and rumours which people are talking about regarding this stock. So if you may enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as obviously we do talk about CCIV every single day. Remember though, this is only just my personal opinion and not financial advice. If you want financial advice, go to your financial advisor, because that is not what we do on this channel. But again, if you may enjoy, subscribe, join us on Twitter at N2S Finance, you can see it here, and again you can join us on Patreon, link below, and we have a website now called markets-daily.com, also known as Markets Daily. I will probably make an article similar to this over there if you do want to understand and read it that way. It will, again, be quite easy to understand, probably about 5-10 to 10 minutes to read, but I will probably make that later today, if not tomorrow. But yeah, we're going to be looking at why CCIV has been moving how it is, and obviously how it has been moving. Now, those of you who have seen this channel before, you will probably already know uh, how the technicals for CCIV have gone over the past week. So we're going to focus first on some of the latest news for this company. We're going to go over here to look at one thing that we already knew, and that is just a reminder of what is going on regarding the company and their shareholder vote, which is happening on July the 22nd. Now this is coming from Seeking Alpha, and again, this is when people vote on the SPAC deal uh, between Lucid Motors and obviously CCIV, hopefully they do vote in favour of it, chances are they probably will, and again, if that is the case, they will probably go ahead with that merger pretty quickly and the name change will happen, which will be a really good thing to see for this company, so again, we're all pretty excited about that, and there's not really even too long to wait for that right now. But that is not the main thing which I want to focus on in this video. I want to speak about this article coming from uh, Investor Place, and this speaks about CCIV uh, basically holding a day on July the 13th. So basically, CCIV is holding a shareholder call for Peter Rowlinson uh, to share a lucid overview. And you could be asking, why are they doing this? Well, again, there are many different opinions as to why. First things first, it does make sense that they're going to do this anyway, just that everybody is informed as to what is going on regarding this event. But specifically, most recently, we have had something being found out about the company. Now, this article was published just a few, just a while ago, and it basically speaks about, as you can see down here, CCIV stock price. Lucid Motors and Churchill Capital suffers more losses on Thursday, and it goes on to speak about why this could be. It basically speaks about the potential of more share dilution for Lucid Motors. It says it down here that the source of this rumour was a selection of some voting instructions sent to shareholders that meant Lucid Motors will increase common shares outstanding from 400 million to 15 uh, billion, I believe that is. So yeah, that is obviously a big increase, but I think it is important to note that this is not necessarily guaranteed, but one thing that we do know is that this is something which we will hear more about, hopefully, on the 13th. So the 13th is going to be a big day regarding this, probably. I think that they probably would like to address that uh, in, you know, that meeting. So it would be nice to see some information on that and a bit of an update, because right now, you know, we don't really know too much about this. I think it's definitely possible that they could do this dilution, but I don't really think it is necessarily as big of a deal as people are making it to be. Now, don't get me wrong, the amount of shares being issued is clearly a lot more than what was initially expected, and it probably will not seem good for people short term. But long term, and again, as I always say with CCIV Lucid Motors, I think this could be seen as a swing trade, i.e. five months or less, but I also think this is more of a long term hold, i.e. five years or more. I think if you're holding this one for between one and five years, we could see some really good things, and again, that goes back to what we are seeing now with this potential of more shares being issued. So I think this is what we should focus on, the long-term perspective that is, because when we think about it, yes, this is going to probably impact the share price short term, but I think long term this will just be a little blip in the path to success for Lucid. 
We need to understand where this company is, you know, they don't really have revenue at the moment, so it does make sense that they will need to get more money, and they clearly will need funds to help build the business in the future. So this could be interpreted as a bad thing, I do completely understand that, and I definitely do see the negative side of it, but I also see how this long term could have many benefits to the company. So again, short term it may have a big impact, don't get me wrong, but long term I don't think it is as important as everybody is making out. That's just my personal thoughts and opinions regarding this event, but I'm sure we will hear more about this on the 13th, or at least I certainly do hope that we do because we have a lot to talk about, a lot that we want to know about, and again, 13th is going to be a big day and a really interesting opportunity to discuss all of this sort of thing. So again, when we look at some of this latest news, it does kind of point to why the share price of Lucid Motors has been moving how it has. In the past five days, we have obviously seen some red for this stock. It's been down from highs on last Friday at 27.75, all the way down to 25.55 now. So it's taken a bit of a fall. Again, not the biggest in the world, but it has taken a fall. And now things do kind of make sense when you look to the whole perspective. But again, more long term, out to the past month, it's not too big of a deal as Lucid stock is, or should I say CCIV stock, is still trading up from the dip that we saw down here at 22.69. We've made a big raise all the way up to highs up here of $28 plus, even almost 29 And again, yes, we have sold off a bit, coming down to the $24 range, but clearly we remained in the high $24 range and even broke past upwards back into the 25s. So we have remained there and I think that is good. Again, there are many reasons to a sell-off clearly we had some decent growth anyway so we were expected a sell-off the market conditions were not too great in the past week and again this news could have uh, sent a little bit of fear through certain investors so it does also all add up and you can see how this could have been interpreted as a negative and could have caused a bit of a sell-off for this stock but now let's have a look on the more technical side and look at where we are going into Monday for CCIV. So this is where we finished off on Friday. You can see the moving average for Friday was at 25.47. We had an RSI figure of 65. So that was mainly due to a spike towards the end of the day. We do sometimes see this with CCIV. It wasn't too big, and again, the RSI is showing that because 65 is slightly above the you know middle level, the neutral level of 50. And it is slightly towards the overbought side, but it's definitely not there yet. We're only 15 points away from neutral, so do bear that one in mind. If it was hitting 80, as you will know, that would be considered overbought. And if it was hitting 20, that would be considered oversold. So we are nowhere near overbought yet on the one day. Moving out to the past five days, we are seeing a figure on the RSI of 48. So that is almost exactly neutral at 48, you know, two points off 50. So pretty neutral. We're seeing a moving average figure of 25, 70. So slightly off where we are now at 25.56, but barely anything. So we're trading ever so slightly below that moving average on the five day, but there you go. Now the past month is showing us uh, a moving average figure of 22 and 55. And again, that is where we are coming out now to the uh, 50 day moving average. But yeah, we are seeing 22, uh, 52, I believe it is. So not too bad. Uh, we're seeing a volume for Friday, which was at 7.18 million. We saw an RSI figure of 53. So again, very, very neutral, nothing to be concerned about. And we saw a little bit of a change in trend for the MACD. It was dropping ever so slightly, turning quite bearish after that big drop off but again after two days in the green can this come back into the green as well and can we see another tre trend change uh, coming back on with strength for cciv into the next week but again that's just my thoughts on this stock after the past week tell me yours down below thank, thank you for watching through till the end but let me tell you about our discord so on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon